I've never owned one. So this is gonna be brand new for me, just as it might be brand new for you. Give it to me like. All right guys, I have the Alkaliv 4K Digital Microscope, a company by the name of Blue Sky C has been watching my channel and they reached out to me via email and thought that this would be a great fit for my channel and for the viewers. So there's gonna be about four parts of this video. The very first part we're gonna do is an unboxing. I'm gonna unbox this thing, show you how it comes, show you what's inside the box. Then we're gonna do a setup. Then we're gonna hook it up to the computer and show its kind of functions, but then why they sent it to me, because I do many, many coin reviews on this channel. And I have a coin setting here. This is from, happens to be from Spectres. I did a review on this one, the Zhu Rong. And we're gonna get an up close and personal look at this coin later in the video. I'll have chapters for you guys if you wanna skip through, if you don't wanna watch the unboxing or the setup and all that stuff, but some folks do. This is not just for coin reviews, for getting up close and personal on my coin reviews. You can use this for soldering. You can use this for looking for your die cracks, just any air type coins for you guys out there looking for that stuff. So let's get into this. I wanna thank Blue Sky C for sending this to me to do this review. And hopefully, if you guys are out there, I've never owned one. So this is gonna be brand new for me, just as it might be brand new for you. But I wanna kinda of go through it as thoroughly as I possibly can, so I get that this might not be fitting for the overall aspects of the channel. But to me it is, because this is going to be very, very useful if it works the way it should work. So we're gonna find all that out in this video. And if it doesn't come up to speed, if it's not up to par like they say it is, we're gonna make sure we let you guys know that out there who is watching this review video for this particular thing. So the Alkaliv 4K digital microscope, this is what it's gonna look like when it's set up. Apparently it comes with a, with a remote control. And there's two versions. This one has a check mark. So this is the EM, EM4KAF for autofocus. This has an autofocus on it. They also have one that does not have an autofocus. So let's open this thing up and see what we're working with. We got some packing foam. We have a user manual. Now let's, here's our lights. And this is going to be our eight inch digital screen. Let's get this out of this plastic. We're not gonna take that off, but we have different positions we're going to be able to put this screen at. We have an HDMI port to hook to a bigger screen, possibly my uh, TV screen that I have in there. It does take a micro SD card because this will take pictures and record video. That's why I'm hoping it's gonna work out great for this channel. Have it hooked to my computer, record the stuff, and have it all said and done when it comes time for editing and showing you guys some of this stuff up close and personal. That's why I'm excited to do this one. USB port and a five volt output. So this would be like for a any type of USB, possibly for charging or plugging in Anything else you really want, if you're recording, you could probably plug in, like my microphone here, I could plug into this with my microphone, pick up some audio. So eight inch screen, 4K, high definition. We have the cables, and this is, I think this is just the HDMI. No, this is the output for the USB. This is the USB-C, which would be hooking to the computer. This is another USB-C, and what do we have here? This would be for the power. So one of these is for power, one of them is for the computers. Nice that it comes with it. You buy anything these days, you're not getting these black boxes anymore, which really irritates me, especially when it comes to cell phones. You get the cell phone and it doesn't come with one of those boxes to plug into your house anymore. They think you're always in your car, right? Here is our remote control. I wonder if batteries come with that. Little screen wipe, very nice. Use that for my glasses as well, I guess. And all that came packed in this foam. And here's what we have underneath. Again, this is all new to me. So during the setup, I'm going to have to figure out how all this stuff goes together. Well, that's why we have the manual, right? This is obviously for the screen. Slides in, comes down, clamps on. So this is for raising and lowering, I guess. And here is the pedestal. So that is all that's in this box. Now... Let's try and get this thing together. Part two, assembly. So after taking a quick look at the book, 
kind of memorized it. I'm not going to go through the book with you and waste your time. We'll keep the book to the side because we're going to need that to hook it up to the computer. So this is our base plate. It says tip your lights down just like that. We're going to take the, the riser and we're going to set it up. This is threaded and this has threads on it here and this moves. So I'm going to show you how all that works right here right now. You line this up and you give this two full turns. One, two. Then this bottom black piece tightens it down, tightens everything down in place, just like that. Now we're steady, now we're safe, right? Next step is attaching the eight inch screen. So on this, there are two set screws. We're gonna loosen the set screws, which allows us to slide the screen down and in. Just like so. There's a little red line on here. Do you see that little red line? That's as far as you need to go down because your function buttons are right here. You have P1, P2, plus, autofocus, minus. These are gonna be zooms. This is gonna be your autofocus. This must be presets. We haven't got that far in the book, so stick around. So let's slide this in, clamp it down with the two set screws, righty tighty, lefty loosey people. Let's see how that looks. All right. And then this is going to be able to adjust the height up and down because there is an extra option. There's always extra options if you want. You can attach a ring light to this if you'd want more lighting because realistically, we don't even know how to turn these lights on yet. I've been looking at this. Here's our power cord. This must be the light switch right back here. On, off, looks like you can dim them a little bit. This is where everything's gonna plug in at down here for this base. So. That's what we have. I'm wondering, yep. So batteries come with the remote because you have this little tab. We're gonna pull that out, keep all the trash with the box, get these cables undone. And the next thing we are going to do when I see you, this is going to be set up in my studio. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do the best I can with giving you a back view of actually set up and running and I'll explain how it all connected to the computer. All right, guys, so here we have it. It's set up. This isn't where it's gonna end up being, but I wanted to show you just how simple this is. I have it set up my desk. It's actually gonna go up here. So this is all behind the scenes stuff that if you are a frequent flyer of my channel, you don't see this stuff. Got a little book collection, a little cigar box there, some other stuff. So this is actually probably gonna go up here. But the video you're seeing of the Zhurong coin, that is going through my StreamYard account, right? So I was wrong from the beginning. I showed you that little USB on the back side of this screen. Well, that actually connects down to the base. And this is as high as it goes. You can't see the screen. And we're going to bring it down in the picture. But you can't see the screen because I wanted to test it out. So as high as it can go, the cord works no problem. The other cord which again, I just have cords everywhere right now, which I'm really, really anal about. So sorry for that. Um, goes directly to the USB on my computer. And through StreamYard, I can pick up the imagery from this to my StreamYard. So you're kind of seeing both. You're seeing the coin and you're probably seeing the setup small in the corner somewhere. And just using the one microphone, very nice, sure microphone, no affiliate connection whatsoever. But what I want to do now is, is just kind of show the auto feature focus feature, the auto focus feature. Try that. Say saying that a few times. Here's my lights. If I move them around, you can see that there's still light there, but I have one right up here. And these are dimmable with that switch in the back. So what I like to do now is just kind of kill the extra light, but I'm going to bring it on and just show you that this coin is still under light. All right, as you can see, the lights, they move from side to side, up and down, lighter, darker. We can actually dim this thing out a little bit, bring it back up light. And I'm, I, what I liked was something just like that right there. So what I want to do is bring this light back in so the other camera can pick up what's going on. And again, this is what does all that. So you're 
obviously your camera screen is right here on the screen. So what I'm gonna do is continue bringing this down and then show you how well this auto feature, auto focus feature actually works. We're gonna come in and what I really enjoy doing on this channel with the coin reviews is getting up close and personal, giving you guys a great look at the product before you get a chance to get your hands on these things and let you see what it's all about over top of the standard stock issue picture that you see online. Say, so you can see that it's completely out of focus right now, right? I'll come down a little bit more for this other camera. So it's completely out of focus. Now it's tilted back the way it should be right here. Auto focus. I'm gonna hit that button one time and bam, there we are right back into focus under two seconds and this thing picks up some detail. We're gonna circle around on this coin. and get you guys what wasn't seen when I originally reviewed this. How cool is this coming up close and personal on the Zhurong two ounce silver coin by Spectres. Look at all the detail in their stuff. As I said, this can also be used for someone who's working on computer components everything there is really small for soldering this thing can be used to find your die cracks or chips stuff like that stuff you what maybe you want to send something into ngc or pcgs for grading and this is going to get you up close and personal to really take a good look at something Look at the details. It's all about those details, right? Come back up on Zhurong. Look at the dragons. I chose this one because it is an ultra high relief coin. A little starfish and everything. Stuff you just don't pay attention to when you first get these coins. A little starfish. I, I picked the Zhurong because it's the year of the dragon, 2024. And this has just a couple badass looking dragons to it. Let's give it a flip. Now, it should auto focus. There we go. You have the screen, the eight inch screen, which you can view from my other view. And realistically, that's all you need because you can record to an SD card and then do your editing and upload if you are into making YouTube videos or anything like that. But let's give it the ultimate test. Let's come in. Let's come in as low as we can get and see how close this thing will actually pick some stuff up. 2024. Look, there you are, Spectres. There's your logo. So let's bring this down. Drop it low, as low as we can possibly get it. We're going to press the autofocus one time. And there we have it. Look at this. You will need to take your time and monkey with it a little bit. But definitely, definitely a big thank you to this company for sending me the Alkaliv 4K digital microscope. This is most definitely going to up my game as far as product reviews go for these Boolean companies that I do review their products. I am going to use the hell out of this thing. Look at the steps. Look at the steps down below. Look how crystal clear. Mind you, this is my very first microscope, coin scope, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to call it my coin scope, my very first, and I am in love with this thing already. I cannot wait to show you guys some of this stuff that I've showed in the past. Now I'm talking up close and personal. 
All right, guys, so that was my review on the Elklev 4K autofocus coin mi microscope. That's what I'm calling it, coin microscope. Many, many different features that can be used. I showed you how to hook it to the computer. I showed you what I'm going to do with this thing, and I'm going to be bringing so much more up close and personal views of coins that I do reviews for, for all these different bullion dealers. So again, I want to thank Blue Sky C for collaborating with me on this channel, for doing this review. Also, in the description of this video is going to be a link for this. If you care to go and buy it, it's just an Amazon link. If you care to check it out and buy one yourself, there's the link. And if you look hard enough, you'll probably find a discount code. And all that information is in the comment section as well as the, the description of this video. So let me know what you thought of this review, if it helped out. If there's anything else that I didn't touch on that you want me to touch on for this product, I'll surely do that as well, or I could send something privately to you as well via email. Whatever you want me to do is fine. So again, do you have a coin microscope? Do you use it? What do you use it for? Leave all me that down in the comment section below. And if you are new to this channel and love coin reviews as much as I do, hit that subscribe button down below. Check out that video right there, and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks, everybody.